to my YouTube channel. So I am bringing you a video today from inside my car because I've arrived early um, for work and I thought, why not do a YouTube video while I'm waiting here and make my time productive? So welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just kind of wanted to do like a sit down and chat today um, about some of the conspiracy theories views I have today and how that connects with what I believe in today. And a little bit about some of the movement that's going on in terms of like the truth and movement and some big speakers out there. And I'm not going to be like naming and shaming anybody in particular because um, that's not what this video is about. But I think it's just interesting to have an open mind and to just be aware how people can mislead you because I think it's important to be aware of that. So yeah, if you're interested to hear more, keep listening. So I would have been classed before I gave my life to Christ and probably still now to some degree definitely um as like a conspiracy theorist before whatever you want to call it I call it researcher and self-thinker but each to their own um and I think before like I said because I got very lost into the spiritual type stuff and the new age um I didn't really put two and two together of like exactly how the conspiracy stuff kind of actually linked into um you know god and the devil and you know christ and all this kind of stuff and i just find it really interesting today because i think that it's great because there are so many people now that are kind of um I really like using this word but like woke to what's going on with what's been happening within the last year i'm not going to mention but we all know what there's so many people that don't want to get the you know what and there's a lot of people that know the mark of the beast chips coming and all this kind of stuff which i think is great i think it's amazing because i think it's good that people are avoiding certain things and starting to see that there is some people out there there's a lot more awareness around satanic rituals and child abuse now and all this kind of stuff people are aware of what these um elite uh rich people that are, are very high up in society um are doing and i think that's absolutely amazing because it is bringing awareness but i think you know what i fell into the trap of because i still like i said in my previous videos do not believe in religion i think religion's a man-made construct i think a lot of it is luciferian i don't believe in that i believe in having a relationship not a religion and i believe they've taken the teachings and turned that into something else um and and that i don't agree with personally i'm not a fan of any of that i don't follow it but as soon as you say you're a believer in christ or you believe in god people automatically assume that which is fine i can understand why because the way society is built but that is to me that they're, they're two very separate things and because i believe that religion was fraud before i always believe that I still do now that's what made me miss the truth and this is why i do these videos because i don't want people to miss the truth the same way i did and i'm i came to things like i said you can't really always be logical with the spiritual world at all but i came to things from i guess more of a logical way and hopefully people that kind of think similar to me it will kind of help them in some degree so I still believe in a lot of the conspiracy stuff like I believed in before. I don't obviously believe in the alien conspiracy that I used to believe in. I do believe aliens. I've spoken about this in my video before. I do believe aliens to be fallen angels. I don't think there's like aliens, other species that come from other planets. I don't believe that at all. I definitely think they're fallen angels. Um, and I think they're going to fool people with that. And I think they're going to possibly use that in the future to cover up some stuff that's actually to do with God. Um, I think they're using a lot of science to cover. I think science is trying to become God to some degree. Now, I'm not against all science. Obviously, I'm only against science when it contradicts God's word and when it contradicts God's laws. Um, and, I'm, and there's a lot of science that I'm not a fan of because I think they're taking it too far. They're taking the make. I think there's a lot of, like I said before, of stuff in medicine that is a complete and utter lie and that they are deceiving people to get them involved in things they shouldn't be doing, to make money off them, to get people sick. I think there's so many lies within the medical industry when they know God can heal. They know there's other ways of going about things. Um, they know herbal medicine is good. I still believe in all of that that stuff like i said just because i don't always believe in mind or in drugs and when i say that i don't mean if you're like get hit by a bus or it's your end of life that it's bad to take like i don't know ketamine or morphine patches that i'm not i'm not saying because i believe that's okay personally um like i said it, it does talk about certain things within the bible um in terms of um in terms of when people are perishing and it talks about wine and stuff like that so i'm not necessarily against that of course when it comes to you know serious injury and and very certain circumstances but in other circumstances i am um when it comes to using certain substances but there's nothing wrong with just using like the natural herbs that we're given um that can help heal our body that aren't mind altering i don't think there's anything wrong with that at all um i still like cbd without the thc um and like i said with the actual weed plant if you just ate a raw weed plant you wouldn't get high anyway 
anyway. You actually have to take it through a um, decarbon oxalation process to actually be able to get high anyway, which is a man-made process. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. But I have nothing against using like herbs and stuff like that. Like I think they're put there to plenish our body and we should definitely look after our temple. But I do not believe like that it does talk about in the Bible. It's not so much about what we're putting in our mouth, more about our heart and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to do another video talking about that anyway. But I do believe that the herbs are put there for a reason. So there's a lot of lie within the science and the medical industry and they fraud things all the time. They fraud a lot of um, papers. Um, there's just a lot of lies going on. I'm anti a lot of the types of treatments that they use. And yeah, I could do a whole video on that on itself. But I do think there are some parts of science that can be useful, but I think they're often taking it too far and they're trying to become God. And there's actually some scientists that have actually quoted where well, we are God now, which was an extremely scary quote. I think they're doing things to adapt our DNA. I think they're doing things to clone and being able to do things without obviously the natural way and i'm just very against all that stuff and i think there's a lot of doctors out there who are misleading people with certain things and certain techniques that we should not be using particularly certain types of meditation and certain types of um trance meditations and penal gland meditations i think there's a lot of people and like yoga type techniques i think there's a lot of people that are getting sort of sucked up into these things without really understanding the origin the origin of them and what they really what they really are doing and i definitely believe a lot of this stuff to be demonic not all all types of meditation i've said before in another video are demonic because it talks about meditation in the bible but there's certain types that they're pushing mainstream i really don't agree with and i think a lot of doctors are misleading people and i think it's really important that we do our own research because i got bought into it so i was like wow this is amazing and wow they know neuroscience and they know all this information and i just got sucked into it and i don't want people to make the same mistake that i did always discern things yourself research it get multiple opinions on it and come to your own conclusion don't ever just believe what one doctor says even if they look popular or they look like they know what they're talking about they might be deceived themselves they might be purposely deceiving others we don't know so we have to be very careful and discern and go to god pray on it and that's the best thing to do pray on it and get, let god show you whether it's right or wrong but that's something that i think's been infiltrating and i think a lot of these big truth truth a lot of these big truth talkers with big platforms like my first kind of thing was well how are they able to talk about what they're talking about but they're not being silenced like all these other people were that was my first concern how are they able to make all this money build this platform i'm not saying little things might have not happened to them along the way but how are they able to do what they do like that and not be silenced or killed like any of these other ones that was the first thing that was like hmm, there must be something misleading because if the people like dr sebi can talk about herbs and we all know what happened to him but that there's other doctors and truth speakers out there that are saying similar things but are not using the same methods but are getting away with it that's a very very big red flag in my head and i used to think that actually i used to actually think how does he get away with this when i'm you know listening to certain people but i don't know why i didn't put two and two together wish i did sooner but all in god's timing but praise god that i, I now see the light now um but yeah i think a lot of them are, are definitely spitting a lot of truth but not always giving people what they need so i think there's a lot of people out there who are telling a lot of truth about all this conspiracy stuff because i still believe in a lot of that so i think a lot of them are out here telling the truth when it comes to conspiracy and what's going on with the elite and you know all this kind of stuff and, and what's going on with what's happened in the last year i definitely believe they're talking truth about that but what they're not telling people is how to properly be saved they're not given the right solutions there's, there's no one out there that are talking about the spiritual world they're not talking about being saved by christ they're not talking about hell they're not talking about all these things and there's so many people and i was one of these people that like sort of think we see the truth but in actual fact we, we're still not seeing the full truth and we think we're avoiding lucifer's tricks and the elite's tricks but we're actually still falling into them without even knowing they're very very clever the way they've infiltrated the conspiracy movement and the spiritual type movement and they've been a lot of people are avoiding some things that are satanic and some things that are of lucifer but then falling right into the trap on the other side and that's exactly what i did for 10 years so i can completely understand why people do that it's very easily very easy to fall into the trap like i said if lucifer can, can deceive a man of the third of the angels he can definitely deceive us and like i said it's not about our intentions lucifer doesn't care about your intentions he's not like oh that person's sinning or doing something that's not of god or something that's slightly satanic oh but their intentions are okay so i think i'll leave them alone it don't work like that wish it did but it does not um he, they don't care about our intentions the demons don't care the elite don't care they don't care about our intentions as long as you're involved in anything you're sucking into it lucifer's still got a hand over you and i think there's been a lot of people out there who are screaming at other people to wake up in terms of the conspiracy stuff and what's been going on within the last year and the you know what and all this kind of stuff but yet when you put to them about some of the other things that they're lost in very hypocritical and i see that quite a lot which is really sad and all we can do is pray for people and i understand it you know i'm not out here judging those people because 
because like I said, one, we shouldn't be judging those kind of people. And two, I was lost in it myself for a very long time. So I understand it. But I think there is a lot of hypocrisy going on. And I really think that we need to sometimes look at what we're telling others and take that on ourselves in certain areas. Because I think, like I said, I do not want people to get lost. I don't want Satan to still have a hand over many people. And I think the truth is very, very narrow. And it's very easy to get swept up into all of this new age stuff. And think that that means that you're woke not understanding that actually lucifer it's just lucifer's trap again that you're still actually following things of lucifer without even knowing so he still has a hand over you and i think it's very important that we we come away from that and like i said with a lot of the conspiracy stuff i still believe in a lot of that but when it comes to like these elite families i still believe in all of that stuff i still believe a lot obviously of course the satanic rituals i still believe that they're lying about the medical industry and what's been going on within the last year and like, i still believe in all the brainwashing propaganda and all of that stuff is true but i didn't actually understand the full reason of why that was happening that is what i missed and this is why i think it's so important because a lot of this stuff that's happening it really is a battle between god and the devil what the what the lucifer's trying to do in any type of way that they can and it takes time to implement it which is why you're seeing a lot of these meditation -y type techniques and all these kind of new agey things becoming very mainstream now a lot of people are very wary of mainstream but not when it comes to stuff that don't suit them which is crazy to me because there's a reason why there's adverts for this stuff everywhere there's studios popping up everywhere why it's been implemented like they're now teaching certain things in school why there's witchcraft being put in all these kids programs and why they're sending witch trying to sell witchcraft for, um, kits for kids there's a reason why it's not because this stuff is good it's because they're trying to get people involved in things that are of lucifer they want he they he is doing whatever they can he they when i'm talking about lucifer and the elite are doing whatever they can to get people away from following the full truth to get people away from to get people away from following God. This is all what it's about. It's about a battle for our souls. So what's going on now is just the tip of the iceberg. When we've got the great tribulation coming, the mark of the beast, all this stuff that's been pre-written within the Bible for an extremely long time, we know what's coming. And this stuff is a battle for our souls. Lucifer wants our souls. Lucifer wants us in hell. And this is why they, they do so many traps to get people to fall into them. Because the truth is a very, very narrow path. And I don't think sometimes we see how narrow that really is and i think that's how i ended up missing it and this is why i say to people you can when you start to understand the narrow truth and you start to see the teachings of yeshua you start to see what's going on between god and god and the devil you start to realize oh this is how this conspiracy stuff adds into this because if we know the elite are, are building an antichrist system and people say yeah the antichrist is coming then if there's an antichrist there has to be a Christ. <laughs> there has to be the opposite. So we need to understand what they're trying to take us away from. And they want to do anything they can to stop us finding the truth and following the exact pathways of things and the right teachings. And this is why we fall into so many of these traps. We know that divination and sorcery is an abomination. It's very clear about that in the Bible. But yet you'll see so many people fall into that and still not put two and two together. Like I said, we're not connecting with what we think we're connecting with a lot of the time. It's not our ancestors and these good angels. We're not connecting with those. It's, it's complete deception. And this is why it's so important that we discern because we're still connecting with that demonic world. And I think once you see the narrow truth and you see... And teachings of Yeshua and you understand the battle between God and the devil you start to understand why this conspiracy stuff is happening and then you start to understand that it's going to get a lot worse and COVID is just the tip of the iceberg and the problem is like with a lot of these big truth movements and not movements sorry the problem is with a lot of these big truthers and stuff like that i'm not saying all of them obviously i'm not mentioning anyone in particular because i'm not out here to judge individuals but just as a whole i just want to warn people to be careful because they're not teaching you how to truly be saved and that is the problem because even though we know the truth to this it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be saved in our afterlife just because we know the truth in that we have to live and abide by god's laws um and we have to avoid all of the satanic things not just the things that we think are satanic because the devil is very very clever and that's what we have to understand do not underestimate that um and, and this is what worries me a bit because they're not giving people the right solutions to be saved and and i think like i said we're going to get heavily persecuted for these beliefs over the next few years and there's a reason for that there's a real reason for that because they do not want the truth out there they do not want people to be saved and this is why it's so important that we start to look at this because there's a lot of lukewarm people out there um and, and I, I think that like i said a lot of people don't want to give up certain aspects of their life here and it's sad because here is just so temporary the next is forever so it's so important that we start to make these kind of changes and really look into the truth because these people are still misguiding people they're still not saving people from hell because they're not giving you the right solutions yes there is a lot of truth in what they're saying and i don't i don't 
I'm not taking that away from them but at the same time they're still not saving people and this is where I think there's a major problem because there's a lot of people still involved in witchcraft and all these type of things and I think they, they've sort of seen that people are waking up to certain things so been able to get them into another trap because they the, the devil knew this was coming the devil knew that people were going to start working were waking up to certain things so he realized that he had to get people into another trap when that happened and it's worked very well it's so easy to transition to waking up and I know this from personal experience which is why I'm talking about it it's so easy to wake up and then fall straight into that new age trap and the spiritual type trap with all that stuff it's very easy and they've set that up so nicely it's like they put a little net there just to catch you when you come out of it they've set it up so nicely and that's how I fell into it and I fell into it for 10 years that's a very long time to be deceived by this stuff um, and I'm just thank God and praise God that I come out of that and started to realize that that wasn't the truth and just because you believe in these certain things doesn't mean you're just sitting here waiting for someone to come and save you like that's not what it's about you still need to put action in you still need to be defensive with things you know you still need to be out there talking the word and, and trying to get the truth out there and there's a reason why I talk about this stuff a lot it's not to scare people or anything like that it's to me it's more scary not to know these things and to fall into the trap and end up paying for it in our next life possibly than it is to talk about this now to get people to realize because why we're still in our flesh we have time to repent we have time to save ourselves so that's why it's important it talks about in the bible about um, exposing the devil because without that how are we going to avoid the devil's tricks if we don't even know what they are so it's very important and I think it's also important to put it with a positive message and to put solutions out there and this is why I say the solution is to repent that is our solution we will be forgiven for all of our sins even people that are high up in satanism have been forgiven for their sins so there's no reason why any of us won't be that is the, the solution is to repenting to get in the word because that's the only way we're going to be saved and been able to avoid what's coming because a lot of this wrath is not going to be out on god's people it's going to be out on everybody else and this is why we're coming into that time most people know we're in end times now so we have to push this message you know the solution is to repent and read the word that is the solution and the solution is to get all that stuff out of your house and pray and really protect yourself with protection prayers and I've done an Instagram video on with different links and stuff for protection prayers and stuff like that the arsenal prayers are amazing I do think it's good to put to push a positive message as well as it is to warn people but we have to understand without exposing our sins without exposing the devil's tricks we're just going to keep falling into them and the devil doesn't want that stuff to be exposed he wants it to be in secret because that makes it easier so we do need to be warning about this because without me watching people warn about this stuff and talk about it I wouldn't have known you know so I I'm very grateful that God led me to those videos and the ex-occultists that really woke me up to what was really going on. But I just think it's very important to make that connection when you start to fall into the conspiracy type stuff, which again, like I said, a lot of that is true, but there is some misguidance within it at times, depending on who you're listening to. But, you know, I'm not saying everybody, of course not, but, you know, we, we have to understand there's a bigger truth to this. There's a bigger picture to this still that a lot of people I think are missing. Um, and I think that's just really important that we take a look at that. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk a bit more on that just, just because I think I fell into that trap so easily and I got completely sucked into it that I think it's really important just to kind of bring that up and talk about it. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say today because I am literally boiling up in this car right now. I'm not going to lie and I've got to go into work in like 10, 15 minutes. But um, I just thought I'd do a quick video talking about some of my thoughts on that. But I, I've really seen the connection now between what they're doing in all this satanic stuff and why they only go they go after a certain prophet because you'll see that all the time and why when they do videos that you know like the Lil Nas video and when you see you know all these celebrities it's only one sort of um uh, teaching and, and faith that they're going after and there's a reason for that um like I said this really is a battle for our souls so let's not let Lucifer win out there but once you see the bigger picture you can then add all the connections with the kids conspiracy stuff it all starts to make sense you can trace it back to ancient cultures you can trace it back obviously to ancient parts of the occult everything starts to add up when you start to see the bigger picture and realize the narrow truth it starts to make you realize exactly what they're doing and how you've fallen into other traps because I think they're going to, I th also think that they're using climate change to cover up what God's going to be doing here. Because when they talk about blocking the sun and climate change and all this kind of stuff, I think there's, and there's a great video on Truth Unedited that talks about this. I think they're using that as well, um, to cover up what God's going to be doing. So you, cause before I didn't believe in a lot of that, although I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'm not overly like researched in it as such, but 
with the bible i can clearly tell that what they're exactly what they're doing but i never understood fully why they were doing that now it makes sense so it, it just kind of for me it just clicked all the pieces to the puzzle it was like wow now i can see why all this conspiracy stuff makes sense because this is what they're trying to do this is what they're trying to cover up and this is what they're trying to get people away from everything just adds up so i'd really suggest people like try, check out like truth unedited check out john ramirez just check out lots of different people um and like Isaiah Saldivia is another one I like listening to. Um, there's quite a few channels. I'm going to do another video on all, all the, some of the YouTube channels I've been listening to lately because there's some really good ones out there. But just check that stuff out because it really sort, sort of links everything together and you start to realise exactly what's going on. And it really links the conspiracy in with the actual truth and stops you falling into some of the little traps within that. But a lot of it, like I said, is true. And a lot of it you see why because it all links to what God's trying to do. So it's very interesting. You can tell a lot of these weather changes that they're putting out and a lot of stuff that's going to happen it's going to be of God because it's written within the Bible but they're going to say oh it's climate change or oh it's this you know because they have to have some type of cover up to tell people to buy people into it so it just kind of makes a lot of stuff make sense but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway I'm sweating one out so need to do something about that but yeah I will see you guys in my next video